Well, a weather alert day here at WDSU. We're expecting more showers and storms this afternoon, and uh, some storms could drop a lot of rainfall in a short amount of time. And when you add that to the rain that we got yesterday, uh, you have the big problem with uh, with some measure of flash flooding today. Let me start by taking you out to the tropics and showing you what we have out here. And we've got Tropical Storm Britt that we are following very closely and invests 93L, which is behind Britt. Both of these making their way across the Atlantic right now. Britt expected to become a category one hurricane and then probably uh, down to a tropical storm once again before it makes its way into uh, the Caribbean and holding on to that strength into the weekend. We're probably weakening uh, as we go into Sunday and into uh, Monday of next week. Behind Brit, we've got uh, 93L, which now has a high chance of developing into a tropical system. And here's a look at one model showing both of these uh, systems making their way across the Atlantic Brit uh, over the Wimmerd Leeward Islands and into the Caribbean uh, and possibly dying out over, as we go through the weekend and into next week. 93L uh, trying to become something, probably be becoming uh, at least a tropical storm over the next uh, few days, but not an issue for us here in southeast Louisiana as it ex is expired to uh, kind of die out as it makes its way into the either the western Atlantic or the central Atlantic. So your headlines for today. Again, a weather alert day here at WDSU, a slight risk of severe weather for all of us. Uh, most of us under a heat advisory from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. tonight and a flood watch uh, for most of us across southeast Louisiana as well. The heat advisory covers everybody except for northern Tangipahoa, Washington, Hancock and Pearl River counties issued because heat index values later this morning at times this afternoon up to 110 degrees. The slight risk of severe weather covers everybody in southeast Louisiana, Hancock and Pearl River counties. The flood watch covers almost everybody except for the lower part of the south shore here. And right now the radar picture for the most part is nice and clear. We've had some isolated showers on and off over the last couple of hours, but not seeing anything right now. This is a 12 hour time lapse showing you all the showers and storms that made their way across uh, southeast Louisiana yesterday. Uh, which is why the ground is so saturated and the reason why we've got some slippery roads out there this morning and the rainfall that we're expecting this afternoon could add to that. And, uh, you know, of course, that rainfall falling on saturated land means it rolls right off into the streets. So here's a look at uh, one model showing that rainfall potential building into the afternoon hours, especially mid to late afternoon and early evening. The worst of it looks like it's going to be down here on the south shore uh, for today. Your pretty quiet night tonight with showers and storms back with us once again on Wednesday. The worst of it once again being down here on the south shore. And I think we're going to see some rainfall on Thursday as well, although the model not showing as much rainfall on Thursday as we're expecting today or tomorrow. But today, damaging winds, large hail, those are your primary threats. Uh, flooding, uh, kind of a low to a medium threat, uh, but the, again, the showers and storms that are developing could drop a lot of rainfall in a short amount of time. But overall, as you can see, between now and midnight tonight, the, the biggest number is almost five inches over in Boothville, but otherwise, across most of the area, the numbers are pretty modest. Here's a look at your seven day forecast after the rainfall today, the weather alert day today, the rain chance to go down to 50% through Friday, 40% chance on Saturday and Sunday and Monday as your temperatures rise, your rain chances go down. All right, Damon, thank you.